Welcome back guys, got another quick tutorial for you today. Last week we went over how to install profiles in Adobe Lightroom, and this week we're going to go over exactly how you can start making your own. All you're going to need to do is find your raw file, and we're going to go ahead and open it up with Adobe Photoshop. When Photoshop tries to import raw files before jumping into Photoshop, it likes to import them into Camera Raw 10.3 and we're going to make all of our changes here in Camera Raw and then save our profiles directly from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust, adjust all my sliders and when I'm done with that, I'll go over exactly how we go about saving our presets. All right, that looks pretty good to me, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to Presets and instead of clicking here to create a new preset, we're going to hold Alt and then click on our preset button. We're going to go ahead and name this whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and name this Road Warrior because we're on a road and that seems applicable. You can save it wherever you'd like. I'm just going to save it in the user profiles and make sure everything that you made your adjustment to is checked here. And we're going to hit OK. And to ensure that that's saved correctly, we're going to go ahead and come back to our basic tab and reset our picture. We're going to do that by holding Alt and clicking Reset. And then we're going to go ahead and come up here to our profiles. Click on the little four boxes icon there. And we're going to head down to User Profiles and select the one we just created. And to make sure that applied correctly, we should come back here and see the profile completely applied without adjusting any of our sliders. So in order to do the same thing with a non-raw file, we're going to need to do something just a little bit different. We're not going to open that. Instead, we're going to come back to Photoshop. I'm just going to open this JPEG that I was playing with earlier and come up to the top here under Filter. We're going to apply Camera Raw Filter and you do all of the exact same adjustments you would as before and then head over to your presets and save it the exact same way. Make sure to check out the links in the description. I've got seven awesome profiles for you as well as them in both JPEG and RAW preset form if you prefer the legacy version. I've also got nearly 200 free sound effects for you guys to take advantage of. So if this video was helpful, make sure to tap the like button, hit subscribe because I've got new content coming at you three times a week. And until next time guys, remember to keep telling stories. Peace.